Hello everyone, hope you're having a beautiful day. Today you will be learning how to do a beautiful majestic peacock. To start you're going to be needing your canvas. It could be any size canvas you want. I'm starting with a small canvas. You're going to want to use your paints which will be in the colors of just the yellow, greens, blues, whites and a little bit of black. You're also going to need your pencil because we're going to actually draw the peacock first. You're going to take your pencil and we're going to draw the peacock a little bit off to the left hand side of your canvas so then we could see the beautiful feathers off to the side. To simply do the head and the body of your peacock, you're just going to do first a circle, probably about to your left hand side right here. Okay, we're going to be painting over it so just do the best you can. And then we're going to do its body. So we're going to go towards the bottom left of that circle and just go all the way down. Okay. And then you're going to go down almost like a triangle. Okay. And then for its mouth, you're going to do a small triangle towards the bottom right of that circle that you just made. So that's a simple shape that you're going to be using for your peacock. Okay, and then the next thing you're going to do, you're just going to do a bunch of lines. We're going to start from the top part of the head and then we're just going to start going around the body. Let's do a bunch of lines. To make it straight as possible as you can. And then same thing. I'm just going to start from the body. Go. Almost like rays. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to leave a little space there because um, the peacock does have like a little round part to him in the back. Okay, so we're going to actually make that right there. One side there, half circle, and another one right over here. Okay. So it's going to look like this with your pencil. And then on each of these, you're going to put um, a circle, more like um, uh, not a circle but an oval. I'm going to do one over here, then we're going to do another one right here, and then another one about right over here. So it's kind of like, you know, if you put one in the middle, they're not straight across from each other, they're just kind of like diagonal from each other, spread out. Okay. One here. So we're going to do that on each line. Like this. It's going to do another one kind of like around there. Because we're going to want to make some space for the crown on its head. The peacocks have like a little bit of a crown. And a small one over here. And then the peacock has some crown over here, so we're just gonna do like a few lines up like that. And then we're gonna add in, they have like little circles on top. We're gonna add that in as we draw. And then we're gonna find where that eye is. It's gonna be like an oval eye.
And then it also has like, a, uh, well, peacocks have a little bit of a pattern on their face like this. So you try and follow that as best as you can. Again, like a circle for the head, triangle for the body, and then you have your little semicircles in the back of him. A triangle here, ovals all around, the lines of where his feathers are going to be. And these are just guides. And then we're gonna be ready to paint. So now we're gonna take um, a medium sized brush and we're gonna start with the light color. We're gonna do yellow first. You might wanna wet your brush a little bit. Just a little bit. And we're gonna paint all this yellow and just try and go around the best you can on those ovals and around the body of um, your peacock as well. I'm also gonna have you paint in this area of the body, the back of the body of this peacock, yellow. And don't worry so much about going over the lines when you paint in the yellow because you can still see it. Now one thing I did forget to tell you is that um, I want you to take a good eraser and the lines that you see in the middle of your ovals, I just want you to erase those as best as you can. The next thing I want you to do is to take your brush and we're gonna add some of the green into the feathers. So you take your brush, it's gonna be a wet brush. Take some green. And I just want you to loosely just add in some green in there. Like this. Just very loose. Again, we're just gonna go around those ovals. Okay, so as you can see, I did very loose green brush strokes. I did accidentally grab a little blue on my palette, but that's okay because we are going to be putting blue in here as well. The next color I do want you to grab, we're still working on this background, is white. So those lines that these ovals are kind of coming from, you could probably still loosely see it in here. I want you to also just loosely trace those lines, just like this. It's very loose. And then, just for fun, we're gonna actually put some white lines like this all around and it's going to be pulling out um, from the lines so it just starts giving kind of like that feathery effect. We are going to add in some blue. So I want you to take your wet brush and just get some blue in there. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna put some blue strokes in there. The next thing we're gonna work on is this back, which is actually the body of the peacock. And 
and I don't know if you saw it on some of my other episodes, I used a sponge or some people have used cotton balls, but I would suggest using either um, a sponge, whether it could be um, an extra house sponge that you can cut up. This is an artist sponge, or you can actually also use a little piece of paper towel or just fold it up like that. So since you probably have this more on hand, I'm gonna use this. And we're gonna work on this back area. And I'm going to take green and yellow together. So green and yellow like this, and then just gonna dab it right in, just into the back part. Just keep grabbing a little more green and yellow. It's okay if it goes a little bit onto the feathers. And then we're gonna also do it on the other side. Then we're going to take your brush, get about this size, and we're gonna add some little, I can take blue, some little, um, I guess semi-circles like this. That's a semi-circle. And you're gonna trace just the outside of your body. See? Like that. And then we're gonna add in just like a little bit more here and there. well and it's fine if it's mixing in with the paint that's exactly what we'd want clean your brush let's actually add in um, a little bit of yellow and just get little little dots And then I want you to get white as well. You don't have to clean your brush, and just put a little bit here and there. Just kind of like highlights. Now we're gonna work on the head and neck of the peacock. And it's going to be blue, so we're just gonna go around on this circle and around this little pattern of his um, eye. Blue. Also gonna take the blue and go down his neck. I want you to take a little bit of green on your paintbrush. You don't have to wash it. And there's one um, mixed into one side of the peacock just to give a little, a little shadow under its neck. You can add a little bit of white, just a very little touch, and we're going to create a little highlight. Wash your brush. I'm gonna get blue again. I'm just gonna kind of go over what we went. Put that white and blue together as carefully as you can. And you can, you could also wait for this dry first, and then you can go over it again. 
So I'm just going to repeat what he did the first time I paint this all blue. So I decided for each oval, we're gonna have three colors in it. It's gonna be outlined in, I'm adding in the, an orange. So first it's gonna be orange, and then we're gonna do yellow, and then blue right there. So let me just show you. I'm gonna do orange first. Okay, wipe that brush. Then we're going to take our yellow, it's going to go in here, it's okay if it mixes. And then blue right over here inside. So you're going to have three colors together. Okay. Again, it's just a very loose painting. so. I'm going to just outline everything first in orange. Now, if you want to switch to a smaller brush, you can. Um, so I have this really small brush and I'm going to now do yellow. I want you to do the yellow just enough so you could also add in that blue. And now you can go in with the blue, which is probably just going to be like a very small circle. And then we're gonna let that dry because we are going to outline it also in a very thin line of blue when this is dry. So we're gonna go back here to the body. I did go in again with the blue and a little bit of the green just to deepen the color. And we're going to, this little pattern here around the eye, we're gonna paint white. You could take your thin brush to do this. I know it's white already, but I'm just going to define it more. Also trace a little bit of that white. And black. Like that. And wash your brush and use that same thin brush. I'm gonna get some yellow and orange together. Paint the beak. Again, we're mixing both orange and then grabbing yellow like that and painting that beak. Very carefully with a thin brush.
And I am going to want to use a little bit of this black since it's a very loose painting of um, her peacock. I'm going to add in a little bit of black on this peak. And maybe this little one right there. See, she has a very light outline. Just do the same, just to show a little shadow on the back of the, of the head and the body. Just like that. And then I'm actually going to come around a little just to show the neck. have to outline all the way down just a little bit and then now I want you to take your blue again with the light brush and you're going to now trace the outside of each of your ovals and trace just right outside that orange line you made with a thin brush Beautiful. I am going to take the black again and I'm just gonna put some of the semicircles that we had in the back. Just again, just to define it a little bit more. Just like that. Kind of like Here as well, a little bit. Can you put some down here? Okay. And now for the last part is the crown for the peacock. We're going to take white. you to take actually the end of your brush, dip it in that blue, and you're gonna do little dots on top of there. There you go. And your beautiful peacock is done.